Good Sunday morning and it's 10 o'clock and thank you for joining me on WFMY Plus. I'm meteorologist Ed Matthews. Want to get you updated on Piedmont weather. We'll see on radar in just a minute that rain is quickly moving into our part of the Piedmont. And with the possibility of some heavy downpours and maybe even some pockets of flash flooding, uh, your WFMY News 2 weather team has issued a weather impact alert for today through overnight tonight for those possible tropical downpours, especially from the triad south and east. You go west of Winston-Salem, we're not going to see a lot in the way of rain in those areas, most of it from the triad and on down into eastern North Carolina. We'll be on the lookout for the possibility of uh, some flooding, not a guarantee, but uh, already we have uh, been placed under a flood watch and that goes until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. It's just a watch, but we'll be watching things and we'll let you know if any warnings uh, are issued uh, for some flooding. Uh, if you haven't downloaded that WFMY News 2 weather app, get busy and load it, da uh, download that because you will be able to keep up with any warnings or watches that are issued for weather anytime we have a weather event here in the Piedmont. Now this is what we're looking at for today. Day. Rain moving into the area as we head through the day, the rain elements ramp up and we'll be on the lookout for some scattered tropical downpours again, especially from the triad south and east. Not a definite, but flooding is a possibility. If you get under one of those uh, tropical downpours, you could easily get several inches of rain in a very short period of time. Now, definitely not everybody is going to get those rainfalls amounts. As a matter of fact, I anticipate kind of a widespread of uh, rainfall totals across our area. On the low end, maybe a quarter to a half of an inch, upwards of three quarters of an inch of rain. But again, if you get under one of those heavy downpours, you could easily rack up several inches of rain and that could lead to some pocket of flooding across the area. Thankfully, no worries about wind and no worries about severe weather as well. I want to begin this segment with our future cast. This is our forecast model. Uh, as the moisture continues to move into the Piedmont, we're going to see, look at the yellow and uh, orange coloring here on the forecast radar. Uh, if we see some of those pockets this afternoon, and we'll check live radar in just a minute, this is the forecast forecasting some of those heavier tropical downpours to track through the area as we go through the rest of the day. And we'll have a threat of those tropical downpours overnight tonight as well as our remnant low pressure tracks north through eastern North Carolina. So the greatest threat of rain and some of it heavy will be today through the overnight period. This is around 11 o'clock tonight. Still some pockets of heavy uh, rain, but as our low pressure moves into the tidewater area of Virginia by tomorrow morning, it's going to carry the rain with it. Now we could see some pockets of rain during the morning commute on Monday. We'll be here to track that with you, but just be mindful that there could be some standing water on the streets and highways. Then I expect a mix of sun and clouds after hanging in the upper 70s today. We're going to warm up to near the 90 degree mark tomorrow, and that afternoon heating could lead to a few isolated storms. That would be on Monday afternoon. Now, the latest advisory I have is the 8 o'clock advisory. A new update will come up at 11 a.m. And of course, I'll be here to share that new information with you. But at 8 o'clock, after making landfall just south of Myrtle Beach around 5 a.m. this morning with 50 mile per hour sustained winds, the winds have been reduced down to 40 miles per hour. And I think with the next advisory coming up at 11 o'clock, we're likely going to see this thing nothing more than a tropical depression or just really a big pocket of tropical moisture that will track up through eastern North Carolina. So we'll be looking for the new data at 11 o'clock and at that time we will have an updated forecast track. We think that will remain pretty much the same carrying the remnant low through eastern North Carolina late today and overnight tonight. But look at these rain elements. Earlier this morning heavy downpours around Wilmington and 
Myrtle Beach and up to around Jacksonville. Now that has moved inland with the circulation and uh, as it does, that is headed our way. And already we're seeing some rain elements move into some of our southern areas, just a little light rain moving into Guilford and Forsyth County and also Alamance County as well. But as we go through the afternoon, we're going to be looking for those pockets on the radar where we see the various colors, the yellow, orange, and red. Not suggesting severe weather. We don't expect severe weather. Couldn't rule out a rumble of thunder, but we don't expect severe weather. But when you see those colors on the radar, that tells us that the rain is coming down in buckets. Of course, this is a tropical system and it is loaded with moisture. We have been placed under a flood watch. That is for the triad, the triangle, and down through the sand hills as well. That'll be with us until six o'clock this morning. By then we think most of the rain will have moved up into Southern Virginia. As I mentioned earlier, widespread rainfall amounts. Some of you may be only getting a quarter to a half of an inch, but if you get some of those downpours, you could rack up several inches of rain that could lead to some pockets of flooding. Right now, just to watch, we'll stay tuned and see if any flood warnings are issued. In terms of the flood, uh, flash flood risk, we are in the level two, the slight risk area for pockets of flash flooding. That covers the triad toward Raleigh and down through uh, the sand hills as well. Uh, in terms of severe weather, we are not worried about any severe weather, but remember the remnant low tracking up through eastern North Carolina. So much of eastern North Carolina is going to be on what we call the dirty side of the storm. That is the uh, right side of the storm, and that's where we have the greatest amount of wind shear and the possibility of uh, isolated tornadoes uh, spinning up. Low end risk of severe weather and also a low end risk of tornadoes as well. That runs from just south of Raleigh, just to the northwest of Fayetteville and down into eastern North Carolina. We've had a couple of uh, tornado uh, warnings for counties uh, out along the Outer Banks, but I haven't heard of any touchdowns or anything like that. So I, I think it is some positive news that the uh, severe weather risk will not be in the triad and also wind damage. We don't have to worry about that. Our concern today and tonight is going to be the possibility of heavy rain. And boy, some areas have already racked up some heavier downpours. When the storm moved inland south of Myrtle Beach earlier this morning, a big pocket of ra heavy rain moved over New Hanover County. And look, since midnight, just since midnight for the calendar day today, Wilmington has had over two and a half inches of rain. Now the good news, most of the rain has moved out of the area, but I'm noticing the numbers click up or at the Fayetteville airport uh, where they've had about three quarters of an inch of rain. Now you still see a bunch of zeros on the rainfall data, but again, these numbers will be going up as the rain continues to uh, move into our area. Uh, most recent uh, wind gust, 31 mile per hour wind gust at Wilmington, 23 mile per hour wind gust at Myrtle Beach. Earlier, North Myrtle Beach had a 35 mile per hour wind gust. Again, the concern for winds will be in eastern North Carolina. Some areas in some of those uh, thunderstorms could see wind gusts 50 miles per hour or so. And as we would expect, the ocean is certainly in motion today. As a matter of fact, the uh, rip current risk is in the high court category. Uh, for North and South Carolina beaches, and I expect that to be in effect right on through tomorrow, and then things will improve as we go through the week. So here's the way it plays out in Piedmont weather. We'll keep an eye on things for you. You make sure you've got the WFMY News 2 weather app, and you'll be able to get any watches or warnings for flooding uh, that may be issued by the National Weather Service. Uh, scattered rain continues to ramp up. We'll see uh, areas of uh, tropical 
tropical downpours that could lead to some flash flooding. Uh, upper 70s, about, that's about all we're going to do in the temperature department today with the rain. Scattered rain tonight, possible tropical downpours as lows drop to near 70. And join us tomorrow morning. There may be a little leftover rain shower activity in the morning uh, and then maybe an isolated thunderstorm in the afternoon as temperatures reach up pretty close to the 90 degree mark. The rest of the week is going to be a typical July weather pattern. Uh, we'll see uh, pop up thunderstorms each afternoon with highs up into the upper 80s to near 90. Have a great and safe Sunday.